Good afternoon, everybody. I got a question. What if you could pinpoint the problem to what's stopping you from getting the results you want? Would it be worth two minutes of your day? Well, if it's worth two minutes, let me have them really quickly. This is Dr. LaDre Weathersby with the Better Life Institute. Uh, yes, I'm late with this blurb, but I know um, I had to wait until I got more clarity before I could, I could release it. So I'll get back on schedule next week. Um, I found out that a lot of our problem results from our routines and our rituals. Our routines and our rituals. Routines are those things that we consciously do. They're conscious flows of habit, but we chose them. Mm-hmm. 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 We chose them. We chose them. We chose them. Now, you can choose them so long that they become subconscious, but the fact is you chose them. So, uh, I just broke a routine in my life that I've had for years because as I ascend to this current level I'm in, I can't afford to keep doing it. Every time I eat, I come sit at this desk and I play a video game for those three to five minutes. It's a way for me to go, whew. Okay, but if I eat six times in a day, which I do sometimes, you know, it could be a sandwich, it could be a bowl of fruit, it could be a salad. That's 15 to 30 minutes of production time I lose because I'm sitting here playing a video game. Now, I'm not saying I don't play video games anymore because I, I just need to schedule time. But that's my routine. And at this current level of life, it's kicking my butt and I, gotta, I had to change it. But what more concerns me are our rituals. When I say a ritual, I don't mean a magic spell or, or rite, um, a ceremonial rite. I mean those things that we do, but we don't have any understanding as to why we do them. Mm, mm, mm. There's a story of a lady, uh, and she got her own place, and she wanted to cook uh, a meal for her family. And so she got the ham. Uh, or whatever it was, but I think it was a ham in the store. And so when she got the ham or the roast, whatever it was, she cut off the ends of it and put it in the pot and cooked it. And somebody asked her, said, why you do that? That don't make sense. You just wasted good meat. She said, well, you know, now that I think about it, I don't know why I do it. She said, I've always seen my mother do it. So she picks up the phone. She said, hey, Ma, um, I got a question. Why do you cut off the ends of the, uh, of the meat when you cook it? She said, simple. Because the pan I had was too small and I had to make it fit. A ritual. You're doing something, I don't know what it is, and we all have them, that you're just doing because you've always seen it. But there was no explanation as to why it was done. And I believe that as we continue to make 2017 the year we want it to be, we've got to control our routines and our rituals. This is Dr. LeDre Weathersby just touching bases with you with this blurb. Hopefully, these Better Life blurbs are making an impact. They're getting you to think, getting you to be aware, and most of all, helping you to make changes so your life can become better. Remember, life is good, but a better life is best. Blessings to you. Bye.